Hey what's up guys, if you are stuck like me and if your riser is not working, you are at the right place. In today's video, I'm going to tell you how you can fix if your riser is not working with the system. Some prerequisites are that first make sure that your graphics card is working by directly connect it, connecting it to the motherboard to ensure that that is working. For my case, I have this old Pipeless riser which was working just fine. The problem with this riser is that every after 8 hours it dies. So I thought let's just bring a new riser. So I ordered the Eatsin riser with a display. We have a video on this. That didn't work. So I got a replacement from Amazon uh, with this riser, which also didn't work. So they defunded me the money back, but they also said they won't pick up this riser because this is a non-returnable product. So I got the two risers, I got my money back. So I ordered the bypass riser because those were not working. So I thought maybe it's problem with the Eatsen. So I ordered the bypass riser and this is also not working. There's literally no display and I figured it out and I found an amazing article on the internet uh, by this guy. I will leave the links in the description below as I will attach a screenshot here by GPU0.com and this thing is amazing. So I did the settings and it turned out to be working. Now in Able, I will show you how I did the settings and what are the settings that I recommend. But in order to do that, you need to make first this bootable. So either you connect it directly to the motherboard or for my case, my prior riser is working. So I will just connect this, boot the system and we will show you the exact power settings you need to do to make this work. So guys, I've connected the old riser right now. So you can directly connect it to the motherboard or if you have HDMI port, then it's good. I actually have VGA port, so I can't connect this television directly. So I need to have this at least running in order to change the bar settings because I don't have a VGA port on my television. So now let's turn on the system and let's go to the bar setup. Here's my keyboard. So we're gonna mostly press F12 as we see the BIOS. My right fan is running a little slow. So there is a screen and I'm gonna press F12. So I'm gonna enter setup. Now again I'm using my keyboard here because I don't have a mouse. Now actually using an RGB keyboard is just overkill but I don't have any other option. So this is the great BIOS settings as you can see and you can definitely refer to this amazing article from GPU Zero and I would like to thank this guy BSAI who actually linked this article on the Hive OS forum which is just amazing. So, so you need to tweak some settings. I won't bore you with this. I will just let you know on the screen. So let's go to go to settings in the settings we will go to uh, miscellaneous and miscellaneous we can see two things the cpu pci link speed is either would be set to auto or gen 3 ph pch pci link speed will be sent to auto or gen 3 so what we need to do is we need to set it to gen 1 so we will just come here and we will just select this and we will select it to gen 1 for your case it might be auto or gen 3 so for me it was gen 3 i will just do it gen 1 and i will also change this to gen 1 so cpu cpu pci link speed to gen 1 so both are gen 1 right now as you can see I will go back and here I will go to IO ports. In IO ports, you can see initial display output 
now for me it's pci1 because i've connected to the pci express slot number one so if you're connecting in two or three you can select accordingly i'll go to above 4g decoding as you can see so above 4g decoding should be enabled for my case it was disabled but then i change it later so i will enable it right now so from initially it was disabled then i tweaked and enabled it but it didn't work but there was some more settings i need to do so make sure this is enabled now i'm not touching any other settings right now and i will just save and exit and pro tip if you have uh, auto power turned on like in bios there's a setting that if there's a power off it should turn on automatically definitely use that because again if you're if there's an electricity outage you can directly turn this on on which saves a lot of effort so uh i need to connect new riser right now so i'll connect my new riser and we'll be right back so guys i connected the pi plus riser right now the display one as you can see let's see if this works with the settings we did i'll turn my mind rig on and you can see there's a fan spin and there's a display as well which says 20 degrees celsius let's see if this boots up oh i got a screen which is just amazing <laughs> it was the happiest time when this worked because oh my god guys i i actually doing this since a month where literally i'm switching these again and again you know trying to replace the cable i thought maybe the cable is damaged i'm i'm replacing one usb cable with another one i'm trying different pci express slot i tried gazillions of things guys and only this thing worked and i have a video for you guys so it saves you a lot of time now this is working let it mine so we can see whether this is working or not but the problem here is that now that you have set the pci express to gen 1 the the feature that this riser has that this display indicator is little off now you can see it says 19 degrees celsius now i found this to be false because let it let it boot up let us see let us mine for a moment let's see what a software recommends the temperature and what this is telling so this boils down to reason where that either my motherboard doesn't support gen 3 properly or the motherboard and the riser is not compatible properly this is a very subjective matter i'm still not sure about that but as you can see system boot up a lot minor mining to nice hash and i'm mining casper right now and you can see it says start mining there's a nice fan spin here and the let's see what speed do we get so 180 mega hash 310 mega hash. so this is the speed of my graphics card 300 mega hash on casper this is 3060 v1 and this is just working just fine so hope your riser worked now again because you're using gen 1 some features might not be available and there might be a little bit of performance drop for me there's no performance drop let's say and my riser is just working fine but i'm not able to access features like this temperature because 18 degrees celsius is just false guys is you can see the high was is saying 42 degrees celsius where is 42 degrees celsius and where this is 19 degrees celsius it is highly inaccurate now the voltage here it says 12.2 volts uh, so it means that it's probably not compatible with my motherboard that's the reason why it's not working so if you're buying a riser if you if you love the display you can definitely keep it like this I'm keeping this because again I actually got my money back and I don't need to pay again uh, and I have three three risers working at least maybe this plays off that doesn't matter at least, at least the riser is working so hope this video was useful for you hope you're able to mine in this pure market keep mining guys thanks for watching we'll catch you in the next video bye bye now